it was a bit shocking this morning for Minnesota Fighting Vikings fans. Like, e- even though everyone knows that this is the right decision, but moving on from team captain linebacker Eric Kendricks, who's been a mainstay of this defense for the last eight seasons, former All Pro, led the team in tackles uh, for for the last seven seasons, and has just been an absolute stalwart man. But he's 31 years young, and last year in, in the new three four scheme. He didn't look as comfortable as previous seasons. Now, maybe some of that is scheme change. I mean, he played it in the Zimmer 4-3 throughout uh, his first seven seasons. Or, you know, Father Time is undefeated. I think a part of that is all... It all adds up, and the Vikings uh, saved $9.5 million in cap space by moving on from Kendricks. Like I said, the business is the business. And something that's important that... That, that Quase is going to bring in. So he's an analytics guy, and he's sort of no-nonsense. He doesn't have emotional attachment. We've seen that. I think that's important where we as fans, like, we, we do have emotional attachment to players. And we was like, oh, I, I would love to see this guy finish his career in purple and, and all that stuff. But in the National Football League, it is much better to move on from a player a year too early versus a year too late. And the Vikings have not been that great at, at doing that. So, uh, like, you could say that, sure, Linval Joseph – was let go a little bit too early because he had some good seasons with the Chargers and, of course, it was really good this year with, with the Philly. But, I mean, some of these, I don't know, man. I I, I don't know. Where you, you don't want to have the last good season of a player. And, and you look around, like some Vikings greats ended their careers and not so weird in some damn weird places like Chris Carter wearing a Dolphins jersey. Everson, you forget that Everson was on the Cowboys and then was traded to the Lions for a season before he came back for a year. John Randall and and Kevin Williams finished with the Seahawks. Alan Page was a freaking bear. You forget that man. Adrian Peterson bounced around to seventeen different teams, uh, but. You look around, even recent guys like Anthony Harris. Where Anthony Harris was franchise tagged by the Vikings. He's making eleven point four four one million, and then you look at his career with the Eagles and Broncos since then, or you look at Anthony Barr with the Cowboys last year, or you look at Kyle Rudolph with the Giants and the Bucks. It's a spot where maybe the Vikings just held on a little bit too long. Etc. And this is a long way of getting to the, the awkward conversations that the Vikings are going to have to make with some veterans this offseason. And Kendricks has already been cut. But what about guys like Dalvin Cook, who is up there in age in terms of running back years? Guys like Thielen, guys like Harrison Smith, guys like Zadarius Smith. And, I mean, the Vikings are, are going to have to make some tough decisions. So Kendricks is already gone. And I, you know, I listed Cousins because obviously they're running it back with Cousins this year. But it's better to move on from Cousins or have estate planning for Cousins a year too early versus a year too late. You know, versus, you know, it, I mean, Kirk, knock on all the wood has been durable. Uh, hit the zip on his deep ball ha- hasn't really shown signs of age, which happens when quarterbacks get to their mid and late 30s. But it, it would be better to move on from Kirk when he still has some uh, lead left in the pencil versus when he's completely spent. Uh, and then Thielen is going to be 33 this season, has almost a $20 million cap. It's something has to be done there. Harrison... And had himself a nice rebound season, five interceptions and all that stuff, uh, but he's not getting any younger and also has uh, nearly a, a $20 million cap. It. Zadarius had a great first half of the season last year, but second half after he got dinged up, I don't know, also has a large cap. It. Dalvin, again, 28, uh, is old in running back years and has a large cap number, even though $2 million of his $10.4 million base is going to be fully guaranteed now that he'll be on the roster. Third day of the new league year. Jordan Hicks, the Vikings can free up $5 million in cap space by that by moving on. And, of course, C.J. Ham. I mean, C.J. Ham is a perfect example of this. He's a fan favorite, but he is going to be 30, uh, as well as fullback is being phased out in the new Kevin O'Connell offense. And the Vikings can save $3.8 million in cap space by moving on from C.J. So, I mean, it, it sucks. It, it, it definitely does. But you have a guy who's getting up there in age, and, yeah, fullback is different than tailback to a degree. Uh, but... Also, he plays a position that is getting worked out of the offense, and I, I know the Quasi is going to have that sort of emotional attachment that we, obviously, as fans, have. I mean, C.J. Ham, Duluth, Augustana, uh, working his way up as a UDFA tryout. Same thing with Thielen, Detroit Lakes, uh, Mankato State University Community College, all that stuff. But Quasi doesn't have these atta- attachments, and I actually really respect that. And, uh, frankly... If the Vikings cut Thielen, if the Vikings cut Harrison Smith, if the Vikings cut Dalvin, and they have uh, you know one or two good seasons left, hats off to him. Absolutely, big time respect. Uh, but also, that doesn't mean that the Vikings' decision was wrong because you want to have 
Because you, you want to get the most out of players, but you don't want to have their last good season, if, if that makes sense. Because that means you're moving off on a high note. Uh, you already have their heir apparent on the roster, and you're moving on in, in that fashion. And uh, respect if the player plays well uh, down the line, that's great. But also, you're not on the hook uh, playing musical chairs, and you're holding just the bag of a player with diminishing skills as well as a very large cap number. You, you, you don't want that, and that's not the proper way to construct a team. And you look at Belichick throughout uh, the, the number of years. You look at the Ravens. like They, they have no problem moving on from players uh, before, before their sell-by date, uh, before their expiration date, uh, if that makes sense. And hopefully the Vikings, yeah, again, it'll be tough. And emotionally for us fans, it, it's draining to see some of these big names move on, especially if they have some good football left in them. But like I said, you don't want to be the one holding the bag at the end uh, when the music stops, uh, when you're playing musical chairs. But we'll see. Anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. It's better to let players go a year too early versus a year too late. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Also, ah, it's still weird. That's right. Yeah, Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.